Borna was born in Tehran, the capital of Iran, on the 27th of June 1985. He was raised in an educated and open-minded family, headed by his grandmother Mary, a pharmacist, and grandfather Cyrus, an architect. His mother Bitter, a graphic designer, father Syed and members of Borna's extended family played prominent roles in his upbringing. His younger brother Bardia is currently undertaking compulsory military service. Borna was encouraged to express his creativity from an early age. He dreamt of becoming a film director, an ambition he was first able to realise at the age of 13. When I was uh, living in Iran, I was always thinking of making movies about the problems uh, facing young people. And at age of 13, I made my first short film. And you have no idea how happy I was. I felt like I was top of the world and I will tell you why. Hope always to have a small camera for me to make my film. Uh, but unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to buy it uh, by myself and I couldn't afford it by time. My parents promised me if I raised up my marks by my final examination in school, they would be happy to buy it for me. But as a lazy student, I had never ever been success to raise up my marks, but I had enough uh, marks to pass my test and go to the next level. Um, I can't remember my aunt, uh, her name is Leila, actually she lives in America, and uh, she was traveling to Iran by the time. And we had a conversation, I can't remember by details, but uh, I told her, you know, I wish to have a small camera for me uh, to make my to produce for uh, to produce my first film and uh, she bought it for me that was my uh, birthday present and uh, finally I could make my first short film at age of 30 Another beginning is the story of a teenager, Raman, who was born in Iran but raised in the United States. After many years away, Raman is eager to know more about his parents' birthplace and returns to Iran to seek answers. He travels to his parents' village and falls in love with a local girl. but soon realises they cannot continue together because they grew up in different societies. After I finished my first short film, I was seriously looking for a subject to make a point about the problems uh, facing young people, but I was always afraid about the censorship which the Islamic regime uh, wouldn't like it. At high school, I studied in a special uh, 
high school for filmmaking and uh, computers. In the spell of fate, 17-year-old Sorme prepares to marry her cousin as decreed by village law. At the same time, she secretly goes against tradition and begins a relationship with a village boy, Agil. Sorme is diagnosed with tuberculosis. <coughs> she decides to run away with Agil on her wedding day to avoid the forced marriage with her cousin. Tragically, Agil waits on that fateful day and realises Sorme has died from her illness. No! Uh, when I was 15 years old, I done another short film, which was my second short film. Um, and called my 24 hours this was the beginning of my success as a filmmaker in iran and also many problems with iranian government My 24 Hours is the story of a boy who decides to live 24 hours for himself rather than others. In many ways, this storyline reflects aspects of Borna's own life. 